we have a number of very excellent questions that uh, all of you have submitted. I'm going to ask these questions and uh, Dr. Newman will uh, provide the answer. So Dr. Newman, why don't you come and join me up here. All right, um, the first question that has been uh, asked is, Dr. Newman, what you have discussed is the stem cell lift. Can you correlate that with the product Luminesce? The stem cell lift, basically, we're using true stem cells, the cells themselves. So we're taking the cells from the fat, separating it out, and then injecting it back into the body. The cells are producing what is in Luminesce. But there's no cells in Luminesce. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So in the laboratory, we grow the stem cells and we get the um, language that we talked about and we bottle it. In the body, they're producing it naturally and that's how it works. Now, a lot of times I tell my patients to use Luminesce in conjunction with the stem cell lift because they'll see a faster result, they see better results, the skin gets better, so that's, that's how they correlate. And, and the, the main, main thing to, take, to understand is that there's no live cells within the luminous. Thank you. Can you discuss further if there are studies showing the effects of luminous to substantiate the results that we are seeing? Um, I don't know if you remember where, when I showed the uh, slides with the percentages. That was actually a study that was done on uh, the uh, product and that study was basically showing how people uh, who use the product under controlled circumstances benefited from the product. Um, if you want scientific studies in terms of biopsies and looking at it under the microscope, it's hard to do in a cosmetic setting because how many of you are willing to have a uh, scar on your face. So I can't do it. I mean, I can do it and put it on their arms and then, you know, but for cosmetic reasons, most people are not willing to have a uh, scar. So we don't, I don't look at it under the microscope for, for luminous in terms of the um, cosmetic end. But if you look at it for the other things that we've done for uh, wound healing, there's a lot of data for the stem cells. So there is a lot of data out there, but not, if, not on the product for cosmetic just by itself. But if you look at it in terms of uh, objectively, looking at it, which is what they did, and doing a clinical study and not a basic science study, We're not looking at, under the microscope, but looking at the skin, looking with m magnifiers, that's what the uh, result is. In the KABC video, the results of your stem cell lift are very dramatic. Can we say that the same technology is what makes Luminous such a powerful product? Um, yes, absolutely. It's the same technology. It's the stem cells that are doing the rejuvenation. The difference is when I'm doing the procedure, I'm also giving volume. So I'm putting fat and that's giving you a volume. Luminous is not going to give you volume. It's not going to make you plump up like that. But it's going, it's going to talk to your cells to renew themselves, to make your lines better. It's going to make your skin smoother. It's going to take away some of the damage over the years that has come just through aging or through lifestyle or through sun exposure. It's going to reverse some of that. So that, that's the same process that's going on when you put on Luminous on your skin, is going to be telling your skin, make new collagen, make new elastin, make new blood vessels, so that it's youthful. But, it's, but when you're putting the fat in, it's giving you the volume, and then that's the major difference between just putting the product on versus if you're doing the surgical um, injections. Anti-aging products are very popular with people in the baby boom generation. If younger people in their 20s and 30s, for example, use Luminesce before wrinkles are a problem, will the stem cell technology of Luminesce help to slow the onset of the visible signs of aging? Wow. Very good. Well, 
If you notice, most of my patients that I showed you were not all young or were not all old. There was a range of patients that we used. And most of the changes that you saw was really just turning back the clock a little bit. So if you wait till you're, what was the age? Baby boomers? Baby boomers. 60, 50, 60, and then um, try to start to take care of yourself, obviously you're not going to do as well as if you start younger and you maintain yourself and, and you do better. If you do Luminous at a younger age, you're starting to maintain yourself. You're not so much reversing it, but maintaining it. And as anything else in the world, it's a lot easier to keep something than to make something new. So if you have it, it helps you keep it. If you don't keep it and you lose it, it's harder to gain it back again. So if you keep it and you're doing luminescence, it helps you maintain your skin better, maintains your cells better. So that's the whole idea of preventive medicine, is to make sure we don't get the damage. So you should use it, and you can use it anywhere on your body. I mean, the, we, we're using it for the face because you know, the, that's where most people are worried about. But I've had people using it on their hands, on their necks. You can use it and, and see benefit just because it works on, on all parts of your body. So it's a good, good thing to do as a preventative. I am using only Luminous on my face these days. But for makeup, etc., can I also use other products in combination with the um, Luminous? Absolutely. Luminous is only one part of a skincare line. That's why we're going to bring in other products to complement Luminous and that will incorporate this technology within the product line. But right now, I have patients who, who use Luminous and I tell them, you still need to use your sunscreen. You still need to use your moisturizer. You still need to put on makeup. And once you wash your face, the first thing that should go on the skin is Luminous. After that, you can put anything else on. But you don't want anything between your skin and this Luminous because the products will not penetrate. That language will not go through another cream to go into your skin. So if you want the effect, you've got to put, wash your skin, put it on, and then put everything else on. And if you put on a cream on top of it, it's probably going to, you're going to get better results because it'll drive it in to the skin and, and you're going to get better effects. Uh, here's a question similar to what you answered a moment ago. Today, Luminous is generally promoted to be used on the face. What other benefits are to be expected if we use Luminous in other parts of the body? <laughs> Luminous basically is, is going to rejuvenate the skin. So if you have a little bit of uh, skin on your um, neck or on your hands, you can use it there. Uh, that's where most p people use it, is the face, neck, and hands. You can use it in your chest. Um, but there's other people who are using it besides the cosmetic things. So let's say you, you have rosacea, you have a lot of redness. It'll take away some of that redness. If you have a lot of um, acne, it helps to reduce the inflammatory acne. The, the big red painful ones that helps to reduce the inflammation. If you have um, eczema or atopic dermatitis or a rash, it helps to reduce it the, and calm it down. Um, those are what people have used most often. Other do doctors have told me they've used it for canker sores and they got better. I've had people uh, tell me that they've used it for um, post neuralgic pain, basically nerve, nerve endings that become sensitive. Uh, I've had patients who came uh, from England just uh, a couple of weeks ago who had lasers done and then ended up you know, being very sensitive to the sun and she couldn't do anything. She's gone and done all these treatments with all these uh, creams and uh, sunscreens and she can't go out. But when she puts on the Luminous two, two weeks ago, we got, I got her email today, she's much better. I did the procedure for her as well, so there's a combination there because she was really suffering and she couldn't do any normal activity. But she's much, much better just because we're taking that inflammation and we're retraining the nerve endings and we're re recreating the covering on the nerve endings 
by promoting the natural self, uh, the cell growth through the uh, stem cells, through Luminesc, telling them you need to repair this, you need to fix this, and that's what it's doing. With the stem cell technology of Luminesc, I've heard with Jeunesse many times the term adult stem cell technology. Is there any connection with Luminesc and embryonic stem cells? Excellent question. Okay. Can I give you a little background on what stem cells are? Stem cells are cells that go and become other cells. They replace other cells. They fix other cells. They are your multitaskers, basically. Embryonic stem cells means that it comes from embryos. Before you, we are made into humans, that's what embryonic stem cells are. So they can become anything, because from that embryo, we're made. So they can become you know, different parts of the body, they can become uh, different parts of uh, your, uh, d different uh, organs in your body. And that's where most of the research is, and that's where most of the controversy is, because we don't really have any way of controlling embryonic stem cells to date. We don't have the technology. Um, with a change in American uh, government policy, hopefully that will change over the next few years, but it will be a long time before we will be able to safely use embryonic stem cells. We're not doing that. We're only using adult stem cells, meaning that you're already using cells that know that they belong to you. They cannot be put into somebody else. Those stem cells are yours and they know it. They're genetically programmed and they differentiate enough to know that they belong to you. We do a blood test before we get the fat. Then we take that fat and we grow it in the lab and then we test it again to make sure that there is no contamination. So no viruses, no microbacteria. Then once we did all that, then we can use that product as your bottle. So it's safe, it's green because it's your own human fat cells producing what is, belongs on your skin. So it's natural and uh, it's safe, it's yours. Does the amount of luminous you put on your face make a difference? If a little bit is good, is more better? <laughs> depends, de depends who you're asking. If you're asking, right? Yes. <laughs> Look, there is no limit to how much you can use, but not, the more you use it, you're not going to get the more benefit. If you, you, you have to use enough to cover the area, and you have to do it frequent enough to maintain the area the results. So you got to do it twice a day with, with the amount that's already pre-measured that is supposed to cover one face. Honestly, nobody uses one pump for the face. I know myself, I use it, and my wife and everybody else, they use two to three pumps to cover the face. Whatever covers it. I mean, if you feel you need more, you can use it. Will you get better results? You probably get faster results. If you use more of it, you probably get faster results because you're covering more of an area. But once you've covered it, you keep putting on more, I'm not sure if you're going to get any more results. That once, whatever your results, once you cover it, you're going to get, you're going to get. The same stem cell technology in Luminous, will there be additional products using the same technology that might improve or remove heavy pigmentations, and deep age spots? The age spot question, okay. Um, most age spots are from sun exposure. Some skin discoloration is from different post-inflammatory changes. Like let's say you get acne and then you get color, or you, get, you had a rash or you got a burn and then you get a discolor. Another one is hormonally induced, like melasma, cloasma, mask of pregnancy. These are hormone, hormonal changes that are causing skin discoloration. They're not all the same. So depending on what they causes, 
will dictate how the result will be. Some patients, like today, I've had people come up to me saying that they're using the product and uh, their skin is getting better and they've used everything else and the discoloration is not going away. And now using the product is going away. And some people tell me I've used everything on my skin and still it doesn't go away. So depending on what the cause is will determine how the result is. So some people will get improvement of discoloration and the tone will get better. Some people will may need to add other products, which we talked about we're going to be coming out with, to help to do that. And some people may actually need laser treatments and chemical peels and other more stronger treatments to target those areas to get the, the skin color to be more even. But to, to answer your question in terms of does it help, it absolutely will help to improve the skin tone. Will it get rid of everything? Probably not. Do you have any advice on how we should store this product? I've noticed that in hot weather, if the product is in my car, it gets a little bit thinner, but the slippery texture is still the same. Do you have any comment about this? Yes. <laughs> oh, you want the answer? Okay. <laughs> We talked about this being a live product. Okay, so when we grow this in the, in the laboratory and we get the stem cells, we want to put it on the skin. So the skin is at a pH of 5.5. It's acidic. 7 is neutral. Anything below it is acidic. So your skin is 5.5. That's ideal. Like That's where you want to be. So if we want to put a cream on the skin to make it better, we want it to be same. You don't want to be like, you want to be like the skin. So you want to be more acidic. You want it to be below 7 and above 5.5. You don't want to go too, too far below because then if you're trying, unless you're trying to peel, then you will peel. So if you, want to, if you want to make it so that it's going to improve your skin tone, it's going to improve your skin, you want it to be around that, that part. So when we take this and, and we get the stem cells to make this product, that's where we have it. That's where we are, are ideally putting it in. So if we, if we take this product and bottle it and we put it in the refrigerator, it's probably going to maintain longer than if you're going to put it in the hot sun of, uh, where are they from, Tucson? You know, somewhere that's really hot. If you put it in the sun, the, the heat, if you bring it to really high heat, it will denature the product. It will, like any other product, it doesn't matter if it's live or not, if you put it in extreme heat, it will break it down because that's what heat does. So yes, you do not want to put it somewhere that's very hot. You want to keep it as much as you can in room temperature. That's where you want to keep it. So, the, so that it won't change the pH of the product, it won't change the, the quality of the product, does it still work? Yes. Is it going to be as effective? Depends how much you heated it. I mean, if you really boil it, it's not going to work that well. So because of the live nature of the ingredients, even any variation in the viscosity or small color variations doesn't affect the efficacy of the product. No. The color changes that you're seeing is because there was a pH indicator that we have in there from the laboratory. We're going to take that pH indicator out so nobody has to worry about it anymore. The, the, the pH indicator is for us. We'll use a different thing to do it. But the main thing is to keep it within that parameter that we have. So we want the same sort of product consistently within certain parameters. And that's what we check for. When we do each batch, we check, make sure that the parameters are correct. We take the batch and we bottle it. Now, if you're going to take it and put it in, into the heat and it's going to denature, it's going to get more runny. That's the, na the nature of it. But in terms of um, efficacy, if, if you don't make it really hot, it's, it's going to be as effective if it's wider or if it's pinker. It doesn't make any difference.
Is it possible for the product to be too rich for the skin? Why do people sometimes have red spots after using it? Good question. Um, it's a live product. It's talking to your cells. If you have some issue in that area, those cytokines or interleukins or whatever process is going on in your skin is interacting with, with Luminous and Luminous is trying to heal it. That's what it's trying to do. It's trying to tell your cells to heal it. So sometimes one of the ways your body heals is creates an inflammatory reaction to something that it doesn't like over there. So maybe you have a microinfection there or maybe you have something else going on that you can't see it so much but once you put it on it goes it reacts to it but it should go away if you have noticed that it stays on and keeps red then it's not it's not the norm because I haven't seen that but if you get a little bit of redness sometimes in blotches it's probably just that reaction I have never seen anybody in my practice who's used it who's had this uh, redness. So if you have specific people who, who have it, then I would like to know. Is it expected that there might be any side effects or negative indications from using Luminesce? It's the most natural product out there. It's as close as you can get to taking your own stem cells and putting it on. So. The side effects are basically how your body reacts to the cells. Um, hypothetically, you can have you know, reactions to anything you put on your skin. But in general, because it's such a natural product, I have not seen one person in my practice who's had a um, reaction to it. I've heard that some people have had some redness or some reactions, but again, it may be a reaction to something else that they're putting on their skin and that's what I haven't tried, I'm still trying to figure out if that's what's happening but I've never seen an allergic reaction to it, I've never seen anybody get any problems with putting it on uh, hypothetically anybody can get allergic to anything, anybody can have problems with any sort of topical cream but it's very unlikely with this product Sometimes when I watch infomercials on television, some products seem to promise immediate results. That seems too good to be true. In your medical opinion, what is the time that people are using Luminous that they should expect to see some benefit? Good question. Um, actually, there are products that give you immediate results. They're just topical. They're not in the skin. Okay? So they put on a cream and the product in, is made so that it will tighten up the skin right away. But once you wash it off, it goes away. Or after a few hours, it goes away. The effect is not in the skin, it's on the skin. The difference here is we're affecting in the skin. We're going with luminous into the cells. We're going into the skin. So it takes time for everything to happen in your body. Nothing happens right away. I've had people see improvement in their skin within one or two weeks and I've had people using it for months and months and they keep getting better and better. The reason is it takes three months for collagen regeneration. So from the time you put it on it's going to take three months for you to get new collagen. That's just your body. Nobody's going to change that. No cream. No dermatologist, no laser, no, that's us. We cannot change nature. So when you're seeing the changes right away or you're seeing changes more immediate, they're the topical changes. They're the things that are your, the rest of your cells are doing. It's the turnover of the cells that are changing. And that can happen within a week because the turnover of the cells is about a week. So when you go to the deeper layers, to the more permanent changes, the more long-lasting results is going to take three months. So that's really, you want to test something for, for the skin for the long term, you got to do at least three months. Is there a shelf life to Luminous? Yes. Two years. Yeah, two years. 
It has natural, natural preservatives. Yes, it has. It has to have a natural preservative because it's a live product. Otherwise, it would only last two days. So, you have we have to have a natural preservative in there. Um, but there's no chemical preservatives. Everything is natural in there. Will there be any future for stem cell technology to make eyelashes grow longer or fuller? Yes. That's what we're working on. <laughs> okay. Um, does the quality of the product change under any conditions other than what you've already talked about if it's exposed to high heat? The quality of the product changes based on what you're doing to your skin, actually. If your skin is at the right pH, so if it's a healthy skin at pH of 5.5, it's going to get a better result than if it has inflammatory areas and is not doing well and, and the pH has changed uh, to 6.5. Uh, it's going to take longer to get the result. Um, so if you have a, a lot of things to heal in the skin, it's going to take you longer to get the long-term results. And if you have good skin to begin with, it's going to get faster. You're going to just maintain it. So and that's, that's the main thing. It seems like Luminesce has fantastic results with fine lines and wrinkles and color spots. What about more significant issues such as turkey neck? Thanksgiving? Um, okay. Is that, is that a clinical term or is that a colloquial term? I'm sorry, try to find out. Okay. What, well, turkey neck is one of two things. It's either accumulation of fat under the neck, and, the, and that needs to be basically taken out. The fat is just hypertrophy. This is too much in there. It needs to be taken out. So luminous is not going to get rid of that. The other part of getting a turkey neck is skin laxity. It's just your skin has gone loose and has fallen. Okay, so you get this um, inability of the skin to snap back. It doesn't have the, it's not like, like a rubber band. It's not elastic anymore. It just somebody stretched it and just <laughs> fell. So, so in case of those things, really, the cream is not going to do it. Serum is not going to do it. Even the stem cells by themselves are not going to do it. And you've got to go through the uh, process of doing more cosmetic stuff. So, but the whole idea is to use it younger, to use it when you're younger and not gotten to the point that you have a turkey neck hanging down the ear, <laughs> so that so that you prevent it, so that the skin doesn't get so saggy, doesn't lose its elasticity, that it maintains its useful memory of the skin to go back, so when I pinch my skin, it doesn't stay down here, it goes back. And that's, that's the idea. In network marketing, we have boundless optimism. I'm very sorry for turkey neck. I used Luminous about two months. The blackheads around my nose never go away. Someday is less, someday is more. Please explain. <laughs> okay, good question. Blackheads, whiteheads, cysts, milia, all these things are not going to go away with Luminous because they're clogged pores. Okay? Clogged pores are clogged and they need to be opened up. If you have patience, you can wait for us to get the next line of products out and that will help your blackheads. But in the meantime, you can either get facials to remove the blackheads or you can use exfoliants like salicylic acid and things like that to, to open up the blackheads in conjunction with luminous. But a lot of people who think they have blackheads on their nose, they don't actually have blackheads, they have little hairs. But that's not going to go away either with the stuff. Okay. One of the things that seems so special about Luminous is that it seems to be one of the only products on the market that uses adult stem cell technology. Even when I have seen some other products advertised, when I looked into it, there was nothing to do really with stem cell technology. 
Can you tell us if our product is in fact the only product using stem cell technology today? It's not the only product using stem cell technology, but it's just the only product using adult human fat cells. And that's, that's what's unique. There's a lot of hype right now because of what happened with the change in the American government. So they allowed stem cell research and everything became stem cell overnight. Stem cell apples and stem cell plants and stem cell everything. All those ideas are more of a gimmick than, than true science. There are a lot of stem cell products that, that um, are being trying or trying to be developed. The main thing that we have with stem cell that is with Luminous that is very unique is human and not animal. It's fat and not anything else because that's what will affect, that's the best stem cells to use for your skin basically. And uh, you get the most benefit with the most natural results. Are there other companies who are going to try to mimic this? I'm sure. But it takes years. It's not an easy product to make. This is a very difficult thing to make because it's a live product. So a lot of people will tell you that they're doing things. I don't know uh, if, if you do s research on, on uh, the other products that are, out there, are out there, like the stem cell creams that they're saying with the uh, Apple ones. Nobody regulates these things. So you have to be very careful to when they just write on the bottle stem cell. What lab is it being made in? What tests are they doing? It's very difficult to know how true those guys are. But I can tell you, we're the first ones. Right now, we're the only ones. And we're the best ones. Wow. I really like your explanation that the cells communicate with each other. Does this mean that our product actually stimulates uh, the production of collagen when you put it on our face? Yeah, that's exactly it. The, not only stimulates collagen, it tells your cells to renew. It brings in new blood vessels. That's the whole idea of using the stem cell la language because that's what stem cells do. They repair. So um, in terms of the Luminous product, once you put this on, your skin is going in and interacting with your cells. It's telling the cells, listen, you need to get this better. Maybe this thing is not doing so well. The inflammatory process that are going down, like in rosacea or in acne, that's why they work, because it's telling your cells to heal it. This is the last question. We, we consider it to be a great privilege that you are helping Jeunesse. What is the most exciting thing that you will tell all of us about stem cell technology that will help us to build our business? The most exciting thing is that this is no longer science fiction. This is true and tested products. True and tested, as you saw, science, clinical. This is not in the laboratory anymore. We're using it. We're doing it. Sci science has come a long way in the last five years with regards to stem cells. Things have changed a lot. The face of medicine will change because of stem cells. You heard what Randy said about his knee. What he had done to him will be the standard of medical care in five or ten years. We're not talking about your parents' generation that they didn't even have lasers. We're talking about you know, things are changing very, very, very quickly here. So in the next five years, stem cells will become a very important and integral part of medicine. And we're on the forefront of that. And we have very good products that have come from it. We have a lot of experience with it. We have a lot of uh, reconstructive and cosmetic procedures that we've developed. And we're going to be de developing the next thing that's going to come along with it. And hopefully, if we can succeed with the hair product, that will definitely revolutionize what we're seeing in cosmetic uh, treatments as well. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, please join me in thanking you.